Hello, fellow Pokemon trainers and Nintendo fans. Prince Charmander here, and we're back for episode three of our Pokemon Legends Arceus playthrough. Uh, my uh, so-called journey to 493. That's uh, because I want to catch my Arceus. Last episode, guys, what did we do? Uh, we did some battles. Um, met Mai. I think her name was Mai. Uh, we met Mai. Uh, caught a couple more Pokemon. Changed our outfit. We're wearing the uh, super cool Garchomp kimono. So now we're going to go take on our first alpha Pokemon, I think. Uh, so I wonder what it could be. But first, I want to know what these are. These are orange. I don't know if we've gotten these. Oh, those are cherry berries. Okay. And, oh, there's a Krakatot. Uh, I don't think we've caught one yet. Go ahead. And, and I missed. Oh, no. Okay. Hit him with a back smack. see if it stays okay yay we got it all right cool 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 um and let's go ahead and get some tumble is it tumble stone yeah tumble stone with our little cyndaquil um i really really like the game i'm having a super duper blast playing it um hello bruce oh is this the vivichoke is this what they look like yeah vivichoke okay we can start making our own revives um, I wonder when we're going to start to get, uh, bigger, like, open area places. Oh, I didn't want to battle it. I wanted to, I caught the Starly unawares. Um, that's okay, though. Didn't we teach Cyndaquil Swift? I could have sworn we did. Okay, uh, let's use Quick Attack on it. Lower it down just a little bit. Oh, it's too stunned to move. Okay, so that's a bonus of, um, what the heck's it called? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, oh, I want to use the Pokeball. How do I use it? Do you want to Oh, I can press Z. Okay, so that's cool. You can switch. You don't have to go to the bag like normal. You can just hit the X button, equip your Pokeball, and then hit ZR, and that'll throw the Pokeball. All right, cool. We caught it. Uh, level up. Times you've seen quick attack. Three more times is what we need. What was that? You know, I want to I wanna level up Cyndaquil just a bit more. So, let's you know what? Let's actually go battle. Let's go battle with our Cyndaquil. Um, I think... And you know what? Actually, before that... Uh, where is Cyndaquil at? Check summary. Change moves. Um, oh, that's cool. Okay, so you pick from a move pool, and then you do that. Apply this. Okay, now you swift. There we go. So they don't automatically learn it if you teach it to them from a, from a move tutor. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, look at that Buizel. He is huge. Oh, he's quick attack. Oh, I really should have stunned him. Uh, uh, uh. Let's go ahead. Actually, you know what? I don't even know uh, Cynical's stats. So let's check his stats. Check summary. Are we better on the physical side or special side? I mean, I know he's better special, but... Oh, our nature's poopy. I mean, oh, it's not that poopy, but it could be better. Uh, special attack is 61. Let's hit it with a Swift and see how much that does against this Weasel. Oh, that was, that was pretty good damage. Quick attack. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and let's chuck a ball at it now. Look how big it is. That's a big boy. We could probably get the quest done with that. Oh, grass is glitching out. What is going on? Weasel caught. Yes. Okay. Um, get some more tumble stone. Because I don't know what the alpha Pokemon is. I was going to say, oh, we got Stardust from that? Oh, is that? Maybe, maybe that's how we got the first Stardust. I don't know how big this... Uh, uh, oh, Drifloons! Oh, they disappeared. Oh, uh, what the heck? Uh, what is that sound? Let's just try and catch them without being spotted. 
Or you know what? No, no, no. Let's throw, uh, let's throw an orange berry. Let's get them over here. See if we can get them over here. Or a little closer. I wanted to get them closer. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, come on. Yes! One Drifloon. Two Drifloons. Yay! Oh, and our Wormpool can evolve. Ooh, we are making good progress. We are making good progress. First, let's go ahead and heal up our nice little Cyndaquil. Good job, buddy. Um, and we shall evolve. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We can put X to evolve. Do it! Do it now! Evolve! Can you skip the evolution screen? Can you, like, fast forward it anyway? No. We cannot. Oh, no. Is it another dust? Ah, it's another Cascoon. Okay. Well, we might as well keep Cascoon in the party so that way we can evolve it. Um. Oh, you know what? I want to check. Oh, I can't check my Pokemon. I can't check them. I was going to say, I wanted to check that Buizel and see how big it was. But I don't think we can because we don't have, um, we don't have a way to link our boxes. Uh, Vivichok, we don't have any, I would say we don't have any, uh, revive. So let's make some of those just in case. Why is this tree shaking? <gasps> Whoa, look at that float soul. Oh, and a Burmy. Okay, so this tree was shaking because there was a Burmy in it. Um, 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 quick attack? Does it know protect? Is protect still in this game? Struggle bug. Oh, it actually knows a move. That is actually really cool. All right, Cynical, good job. Go, Pokeball. Go, I choose you. This should be an easy catch. Should be an easy catch. Oh, no. Fermi is looking around. Okay, so it's not, I like how it can, like, be, not be interested in fighting. Oh, I keep forgetting. I don't have to hit the X button. Just need to hit the X button once. Go. Come on, Burmy. Get in the ball. Yes. Burmy caught. Let's go. Oh. And we got a vivid choke from it. Nice. Um. Oh, my goodness. We are going to save here. I want to save because I don't know what's going to happen with this big old float soul um actually let's swap out let's have shink go out first if we have to battle this thing oh zubat i want to try and throw a ball at it first without trying to catch the uh hit it with the back smack come on <gasps> is that weasel sleeping oh he was I wanted him. I wanted him to stay asleep. I wanted to catch him. Oh no! Gotcha. Come on, stay in the ball, buddy. Stay in the ball. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's go, Cinequil. I want to pick up this Vivichoke, and I want to get the Tumble Stone right here. Let's hide in the grass. Uh. Okay, and then switch back to Shinks. Where is that float soul at? Oh my god, he's huge! What if I throw an orange berry? Oh no, what if I do this? Oh shoot! Oh shoot! That didn't work. Oh, it's hit me with water pulse! Oh god. Okay, uh, that was a bad idea. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Go. Who did I switch with? Okay, it's it's Jinx. <gasps> it's 31. Adopted a hard-hitting stance. Oh my god, it's going to attack twice. Uh uh fight. Uh uh we're going to need to know uh we're going to have to paralyze it. Oh god, there's no way we freaking super effective. Paralysis? Bulk up? Oh no. 
Crunch. Oh, Shanks, you're totally gone. Shanks fainted. Okay. Uh, 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 Cascoon. Oh, it doesn't learn Harden. It learned Iron Defense. Okay, uh, can we get lucky with the poison? Can we poison you? That would be wonderful. Water Pulse. Oh, boy. Um, um, um. Let's send out Starly. Oh, Aerial Ace. Oh no, I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to sacrifice Starly so I could uh abandon its hard hitting stance. Okay. Uh stats for return to normal. Uh can we should we just run away? Should we just run away? Uh Badoof. Let's send out Badoof. Co Badoof. So Bidoof, I'll I'll use my move first. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. Can we... We get two turns doing it this way. Maybe... Maybe we'll flinch it? No, double hit. Nope. Bidoof is... Oh no! Crunch? Oh, okay. Oh no. Yeah, we're running. We are running. Let's get out of here. Bye! Bye! Can I, uh... Can I revive? Let's revive it. What if we revive Shinx right now? And we use a potion. Will it still have the same health or will the battle restart? I feel like the battle would restart. Does it know I'm here? What if we throw a Pokeball at it? Oh, it saw me. Uh, I'm sorry, Float. So look how big it is. It's huge. Is it still behind me? I don't know, he's like, no, nah, get out of my parts, boy. Get out of here. I don't, nah, I don't want to catch this Float. Or this Weasel. We're good. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, Float Soul. Uh, we need to find a guard so we can... Uh, oh, hello, Starly. Uh, so we can <laughs> freaking heal our guys up. Although I wasn't really using them, but still. Oh, Cricket Tots. Um, oh, actually, no. I wanted to I wanted to train. I wanted to train with my... Cinequil. Boop. Oh, did I hit it? I didn't hit it. Okay. Cricket Todd is keeping his guard up. It ran away. What? You can run away like that? Oh, very interesting. Ghost in the quill. Don't run away, Cricket Todd. Don't you dare run away. Oh, uh, okay. Keeping his guard up. All right, Ember. Bop. Yeah. Goodbye, Cricket Todd. Give us that apricorn. Thank you. If I touch that guard, will he heal me? Be nice if he would. Uh, medicinal leak. Yoink. Yeah. I'm not here, Cricket Tot. I'm not here. Not here at all. Back smack. Boom. You are unawares to the demise that you are about to face. Ember. Boom. Dead. Good job, Cinequil. I love just being able to throw out a Pokemon in battle. It's so much fun. It's so simple, but it it just does it for me. I don't know why. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? I know why. Because it's like the anime. I like I like I like that you can just be like, oh, go, go, Pokeball, and then let's attack and fight. Uh, Ember, Ember. Can I pick up the Vivichoke while I'm battling? <laughs> oh no, I can't. Okay. I can pick it up after the battle. Uh, number defeated. One more. Uh, who's this? Who is this in here? I can't see. Cricketot? Oh, it ran away. No! Cricketot, why? Okay. 
No more dilly dallying. Let's go. Let's go do the the. <laughs> let's go do what we're supposed to do. Oh, Starly! Ah! I say as I start a, another battle. He ran away. What? Okay, I guess if they're running away, you can't, um, you can't really like engage them in battle because they're like they're already in the the process of running. So it's like, yeah, they don't want to stick around. They're they're trying to get away from you. Okay, you're not running away. Good. Ember. Yes. Good job, Cynical. I love you. You are my child, and I will take care of you. Spoiled apricorn. Regular apricorn. Hello, sir. Bjorn. Ho oh, there. Mind helping a guy out? I'm after some cherry berries. You know them? The shiny red ones. They grow on some of the trees around here, but I don't have any Pokemon that can reach them for me. That's where you come in, friend. Uh, throw one of your Pokeballs at a berry tree, and your Pokemon will grab the berries for you. Be sure the Pokeball you throw has a Pokemon in mind. Be ashamed to waste an empty ball. If you can hand me three of the cherry berries you get, I'll tell you another handy tip. Request number 13? How many requests are there? Oh, I have 12 out of 3. Okay. Here you go, buddy. Knock yourself out. Uh, now then, uh, here's that handy tip I was talking about. You can throw a berry near a wall Pokemon to grab their attention and keep them distracted. Why don't I give it a try on some of the Cricketot around here? Wow. I knew that. Oh, 15 Pokeballs. Okay, that's... I'll take it. I like it. Oh, look at this. What is this? It looks like a Floet. Pep up plant. Is that a Geodude? That is a Geodude. Oh, they're aggressive. Um, 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 I don't know who to send out. Shinx? Let's go, Shinx. Geodude. Uh, let's go with a bite. Shouldn't, uh, shouldn't knock it out. That way we can catch it. Roll out. Uh oh. He's fixated on using rollout. That's fine because we're going to catch it right now. Yeah. I hope. Hope is the key word. Okay. Woof. That would have been bad. Okay, so we got ourselves a Geodude. Nice. Uh, let's distract this Geodude so we can actually catch it without being, uh, without being attacked. Uh, look, there's a berry over there. It looks delicious, doesn't it? No! Oh, God. And we got spotted by two of them. Ah, ah, ah. Run! But first, pick up the plant. Oh, what is that? Oh, is that the black temple stone? Is that for the heavy balls? Let's see. Okay, I thought they were still following me. They're just, they're aware of my presence. Oh, is this one asleep? It was green. I've never seen it green before. It's like a guaranteed capture. Nice. Boop. Get that tumble stone. Can I? I can't climb up here. But I don't want to go near the Geodude. He's scary. Ah, shoot. What if I roll? Nope, that doesn't work either. Oh, that tumble stone up there is uh, is jiggling around. What could be underneath it? Uh, what's a Pokemon that's underground? Diglett? Oh, no, a Geodude. Oh, shoot. Oh, that makes sense because it's like essentially you're using Rock Smash. Um, um, oh, God, I don't know what to use. Geodude, where are you going? Um, Ember would be not very effective. Roll out. Now, none of my moves are effective against it. Ember, God, please do something. Oh, burned it. Okay, that's good. Don't use rollout. Oh, mud slap. Okay, that's special. Ah, oh, that still did a lot. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, let's. No, 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 not fight, not fight. Um, I want to swap out Starly. Oh, okay. You can hit ZR. That's essential. That's how you switch out Pokemon. Without having to go to the menu, um, if you scroll to your Pokemon, hit ZR like you would with the Pokeball, like to throw it. That's how you can swap them out. That's kind of cool. Uh, Gust. Strong style. Agile style. 
Um, you know, no, let's just use regular old Gust. See if we can get a little damage off on it. No, don't kill it. Okay, good. It didn't kill it. Hurt by the burn. Yum, yum, yum. I love water. I'm not going to make you sit, sit, guys sit there and watch me drink, <laughs> though. Go, Pokeball. It's burned. It's in the red. That's an easy catch. Easy, easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's it. You caught Dio, dude. Um, hello, Starly. Just Starly over there observing the battle. Um, I need to heal up my Cyndaquil. Um, let's grab some of these leaks. And uh, we have plenty of potions, so we don't have um, what's it called? Well, a bunch of revives. I should have made more, but I don't think I can. Right? How do I? What do I do if I favorite it? Can I use it in the overworld? No, that's my map. Uh, no. ZL just repositions the camera. Oh, I was like, if you favorite it, you should be able to. Uh, there should be a button to press that you can actually just use it with, like, left or right. What, unless left or right are going to be used for something else. Hmm. That's a bummer. What's the point of favoriting it? Uh, okay. Craft. Can we make some more revives? Oh, we can, because we have vivid chokes. How many can we make? Oh, we can only make two? Why? Why, why, why? Need two revives. Oh, because you need two medicinal leaks. That's why. Okay. Well, let's revive um, our three little guys who are who are out of commission because of that stupid battle. Why did I? I don't know why I thought I could fight that Floatzel. It was level 31. Um, Apricorns and Tumblestone. And you know what? Let's craft some more Pokeballs. Because I'm going to use those. Oh, you know what? And let's craft a heavy. Let's craft heavy balls. Because you never know when those might come in handy. 25 of those. Yes. Okay. Hello, my. Look at all those. Look at all those pockets. Yelena must be a fan. Oh, so even your professor decided to join us. Oh, what? Yay! Whew! Thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I can hardly miss out on a chance to absorb an alpha now, could I? Oof, you missed your chance earlier. I went off the beaten path and I probably shouldn't have. I suppose that is your business. Fine. As long as you stay out of the way. Let's see. What is the alpha Pokemon going to be? This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of these... One of those ancient blessed by the by Almighty Sinnoh. That's not it. That's only a troublemaker. Here to disturb the peace with its racket. <laughs> oh my god, I love a cricket tune. And that's what you're here for, trying to to drive that interloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for battle. Are you kidding? I wasted my revives! Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're all as oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not only big though. They are strong and may know moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, I believe you are stronger still than this alpha. So go show it that. Beyond any mistaking. Be careful, Charminder. Size is a potent weapon in, a, in and of itself. No doubt this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. Pokemon whose eyes glow red are called Alpha Pokemon. Alpha Pokemon are larger than others and may know moves that are rare for their species. They appear to be very difficult to catch. So, do we just take it out or should we try and catch it? Uh, I guess we'll use a heavy ball for it. 
Um, it hasn't noticed me. Uh, yeah! That went nowhere. Yeah! Nope. I don't think they can get any closer. I just threw it! Dang it! Okay, it hasn't noticed me yet. It hasn't noticed me. What if I just come around to the back? What was that? It didn't even do anything. It phased through it? Wow, okay. Okay, so it's like you can't... It, you have to engage it a certain way. That's lame! Why wouldn't they give us the, the, the opportunity to like... Get an advantage on it? I'm kind of bummed. That's kind of that's kind of dumb. Action speed in battle. Press the Y button during battle to check the action order. Okay, I figured that out. Oh, but I didn't see with Wild Might. Use Aerial Ace. Oh my god, that did so much. And it's only level 12. Oh, we got Strong Style Ember though. Should we do Agile Style Ember? Okay, so we get two turns. Ember. Super effective. And then, what if we go strong style next? Oh, but then it gets two turns. Um, um. Oh, God. I don't know what to do. I don't think Cynical can take it out. And that did so much. Oh, uh, strong style. Let's go. Go, Cynical. Strong style Ember. Take this big boy out. Oh, it worked! That's my boy. That's my little boy. Oh, Cascoon was so close to evolving. Yeah, forget trying to catch it. Um, oh, man, those are hard. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seen someone best in alpha like that. It truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. We'd best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing against such a foe. Thank you. Oh, <gasps> ooh! What in the world? <gasps> it's a weird ear. It's the great weird ear. Oh no, that's my. Whoops. Eh. Oh, we're we gonna get our first Pokemon that we can ride around in. Yes, thank you, thank you. Please, maybe I don't know. He looks upon you with kindness, Charmander. Me? Aw. I'd say the Great Weirder is taking a liking to you. That is fortunate. He is an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable. Truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride on it? Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. Oh, what? Professor Lavington. Charminder. Captain Silene sent me. She said that once Charmander carried out this request, we'd be able to set up a base camp. Ah, about that. I know this was a joint decision by Adamon and the commander, but still. Is it truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this? The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should be allowed should also be allowed to use this land. The Great Weirder has taken a liking to Charmander as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. Mission complete. Let's go. Now what? If we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon... We'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with completing the Pokedex. Anyway, we should be able to have that base camp set up once the construction corp arrives. Cool. Is it going to set up right away? Please tell me. Oh, okay. Is that is that really it? Oh, yeah, because there's a crafting table and stuff. Here we have it. Our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. 
I'll call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Having another base camp to start from will be a great help on our surveys. Mm-hmm. Nice work today, everyone. What did you do? What shall we... S uh, what's it? We all head back to the Wallflower. But I want to stay and catch Pokemon. Oh. Oh, cool. We got a nice de decent chunk of change. Uh, let's see. Cyndaquil. Research level 10. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, what else? We, we haven't used Quick Attack a lot. Times you seem to use a strong style move. Agile style move. 15-15. We could totally... When did we learn Flame Wheel, though? That's what I want to know. I want to complete everything for Cyndaquil. Um, and then evolve it. Before... Because I don't know when we're going to get a chance to get another Cyndaquil. A uh, number of different... Number defeated. We haven't, we haven't defeated that many? Heavy specimens. Shinx. What have we got? Wurmple. What about Cascoon? What do we have to do? Number caught at night. Oh, you have to catch him at night? Number defeated. Number of times you've defeated with those fire type moves. Times you've seen you use Poison Sting. Number you've evolved. Investigate how... Silcoon and Cascoon different. Hmm. Order chronologically? Chronologically. Bah. Order alphabetically. This is now. Oh, wait. Order numerically. Okay. Zubat. Weasel. Okay. This is numerically by. How? Well, I'm so confused. Um, 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 number four, okay, so, 1834, 27, ordered by research level, since this is a research level two, four, five, ten, 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 okay, anyways, whatever, whatever, whatever. who cares, <laughs> I'm messing around here, oh, are you kidding me, we missed it by 20 points, I'll probably cut that out, I'm not gonna show myself mucking around in the... In the frickin' thing. Penny, old chum, the usual potato mochi, please. And make it for three today as well. Can I get chicken nuggets? <laughs> please? Have y'all heard the grave news? Oh, did someone die? That frenzied Cleavor from the rumors. It ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. Oh, shoot. Uh, the medical corps has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Ah, this is the Cleavor that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is in order, the Survey Corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure Charmander here can handle things just fine. Are you certain... I've heard Cleavor's so mighty, even alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. What's with the, the face? Come on, man. I just took on an alpha Pokemon. Well, I'm like 50-50 for alpha Pokemon, but I, I beat that one pretty easily. Now, now, you forget that the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty-bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique... I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. I agree, Lavington. I agree. The next day. Good morning, Charminder. You should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. Do I have to go? Because, like, ooh, investigate. Oh, I can store stuff in here. Uh, organized satchel. There we go. Um, I, how, so I can only carry this many items here, uh, since we don't know what, um, what we can use for wood, and what is this, iron chunk, such ores needed to make the requisite parts of numerous Pokeball varieties, such as the clasp that holds the ball shut, oh, okay, uh, let's put this to storage, 
Anything that we don't know what to use or we don't have a recipe for, we might as well just move. Move all at once. Uh, the honey might be good. Vivichoke, cherry berries. It can be fed to a Pokemon to restore its HP by 20. You can feed it to them. You just can't give it as a held item. And the Stardust. Let's move that. Just because, I mean, we're, no, we're, not, we're not in dire need for cash right now. Are we going to have to take on Cleavor right now? Or is that the next thing that we have to do? Because if it is, uh, I am definitely not ready. Because that thing is rock bug. There you are. Let's hurry to headquarters. Adamant? Oh, look who's being punctual. Finally realize you're wasting almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham. What? Irida. There you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people follow the true Almighty Sinnoh, the font the font of all creation and ruler of space. Ha! <laughs> you could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me? Are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make of vast Hisui space? Better than some. It's a miracle you showed up on time, oh mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I worried you get so I worried you get lost in the pointless pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Me? Get lost in Almighty Sinnoh's great grift Wow oh, god, I can't read. What the heck? In Almighty Sinnoh's great gift of the curl to the bow oh. Me? Get lost? In Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan? In our world's very basis? You wish. Oh, look at the little Wurmple back there. Is that the one that we gave to the guy, Beauregard? I wish I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. I believe it was you who started this. Dang, they mad. They did not like each other. You can feel the tension when those two show up. You haven't met them, have you? The woman with the reverence for space is Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who is going on and on about time, Adaman, leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan gradually coexist at the moment. Apparently things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I, I mean the commander, is waiting. We should have saved this conversation for after you report to him. Okay. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to take a quick phone call, and uh, I'm sorting out the uh, details for our giveaway winner. Uh, congrats again to Doug Trio Instruments. Um, I hope you're enjoying your game uh, by the time this goes up. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Let's go and talk to Kamado. Where is... Oh, yeah. He's upstairs. Oh, do I have a request in here? Hello. Oh, on the... <gasps> Look at little Rowlet. Hello. And then where's Oshawott at? Is he in here? Investigate. It's hard to guess what this is supposed to do, but it certainly does look impressive. It's a time machine! Um, oh, there's Oshawott. He's just standing there. Menacingly! <laughs> and I guess Cinequil would have been right here if we would have not picked him. Uh, but let's look at the board. There's some requests posted on the blackboard. Which one will you check? Bothersome Bidoof. Uh, it seems a band of bothersome Bidoof keeps sneaking into the village and causing trouble. Talk to uh, Samugi from the security court and see if he can help set things in order. Okay. Uh, let's let's check them all. It seems several people have spotted a Drifling playing with one of the village children. Uh-oh. <laughs> we all know what that means. Miki from the security court can tell you more. Speak with her and get to the bottom of this. And then the last one is the Zubat. Clarissa from the security corps has a request for us. Something to do with the zoo bat, I believe. Talk to the good lady and investigate as necessary, if you please. Nice. Okay, no more requests. So, let's continue on with the story. But, that's nice. We can just come in here and get some requests and get some side missions done. Dang, I can dodge up the stairs. That is pretty cool. Hello, lady. Who are you? 
Oh, splendid. You came along at a good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone, you see. Would you mind lending me a hand? It needs to be the right size to fit atop one of my pickle pots and heavy enough to put on to put a nice firm pressure on the pickles while they're fermenting. Hmm, but I suppose it'll be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from the pot. The best thing would be for the stone to lift itself up, actually. Oh, I have a rather good idea. There's a Pokemon called Geodude that lives on the Deer Track Heights. It would be perfect for the job. Could you catch me one and bring it back for me? I'll head home and wait for you there. No, wait, stay here. Oh, I thought that was part of the thing. Okay, well. Um, oh, that's right, because he's on the third floor. Uh, I'm over here activating side quests, and I didn't even know it. What do you intend to do about that Cleavor, Commander Kamado? He may be descended from a warrior of almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adaman. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, how would you have us do? Cleavor is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan. Is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan's concern. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats. Just like we used to be. But even folk of the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Me? <laughs> Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that. Thought it. Maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleavor into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is a first as far as my clans know, too. Hmm. I ah, see so you've arrived. This is Charminder, the newest member of our, secu of our survey corps. Aha! I hear from my you earned Weirdeer's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the rift. I'm Adaman, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's a mouthful. Just call me Adaman. If you came from beyond the space time rift, could you be the space could you be from the space where Almighty Sino is said to reside? I'm Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleavor before deciding what must be done? You'd send this stranger, who supposedly fell from the rift, to study Cleavor? This newcomer with no experience? Says the leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing Hisui's vastness without fear. Well, then there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give the kid a ch his chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folks really are with all your weird ways. Putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh made Hisui vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon. Only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Charminder. I order you to study Cleavor and help us find the truth of this situation. I accept. Tin Hut, remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are very naturally suspicious of your presence here. And if you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. The Frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. Okay, cool. Well, that's settled. And there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleavor, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned. 
Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl clans. Understand? Join me downstairs, Charminder. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Cool. Okay. So, let's go ahead and find out what Celine has to tell us about this mission. Are we going to get a... Uh we're going to get something that's going to help us. Because I know with, like, the noble Pokemon, you have to, like... You not only battle them, but there's, like, phases to the fight, I think. Like, there's smoke bombs. Let's see what she says. Ah, good. You're already here. Professor Lavington, the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Charminder, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleavor's frenzied state. But as you are aware by now, Cleavor is a mighty thing. Nigh invincible, even. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleavor when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course. Very well. Then let us go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this Cleavor. Hmm. Charminder, we need to speak with you. Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. That world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So, if you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you travel through time. By Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it! You must have just been swimming in its divine might. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you. Oh, amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleavor. Quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adaman. We were just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole Cleavor situation. Oh, ho, you must be that Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Uh, share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleavor. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get his under control, too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the Galaxy team, of all people, for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us, off in the mountains, has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleavor. Now, there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've all got to share Hisui, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleavor at Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit... Well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know. He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleavor, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge. So we'll be counting on you. See you later. Absolutely I am. But how do I catch him? He certainly left quickly once he finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. Adamant and I weren't wrong, you know. If you're to study and perhaps even quell Cleavor, you'd best start by visiting his abode. Our new heights camp would be a handy place for setting out toward Grand Tree Arena. And you should stop by the pastures too. You want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. Cool, okay. Let's go ahead and I think we're going to wrap it up here. We're going to, um, oh, never mind. I wanted to stop the episode, but never mind. We'll, <laughs> we'll keep playing. Uh, 
Baggin. Who is it? Baggins! Uh, finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across? Satchel always seeming full? If that sounds like you, it'd be wise to lend me your ear a moment and hear what I have to say. Can I pay him for a bag expansion? Heck yes. You can carry around even more in that satchel of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. I can teach you if you like. What do you say? Yeah, teach me. I like your initiative. My teaching fee is a neat 100. All right. Oh, dude, that's easy. Perfect. Then let me hear a moment. So you got to get your shirts and you got to roll them into little rolls. Cool. And that's all there is to it. You see how much more you can fit in by packing things rightly? If you want to be able to carry even more things, there's more I can teach you. What do you say? Teach me. Uh, 200 bucks. Oh, heck yes. Let's... Absolutely. I'm gonna need more than that, boy. Uh, one more kind of item. Oh, so one more kind. Oh. Uh, so we're just buying an additional slot. How many? How much is it for every slot? What don't you understand about more? How high can we go? Uh, even more things. So I'm guessing it's gonna be 400, right? Or cool, cool, cool. I love, I, I hate running out of item space, so I'm going to just spend as much money as I can. Or... 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 2,000, okay. Yeah, it looks like this is it. This is going to be the last we can buy. For now. Oh my god. Teach me. 2,500. Okay. Well, we don't have enough. So let's see. How big is our satchel now? Let's take a look. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's the key items. Oh. I thought I, thought I was like, wow. We have so much room now. But I did not pay attention. So it looks like we're missing uh, two more slots. So probably 5,000 would be the last one. Unless there's like another another tier. In which case, wow. Cool. Okay. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, if you enjoyed, leave a like. Comment down below. Tell me, uh, how are you enjoying the game? Uh, are you... Making a lot more progress than I. I've seen people who are blown through this game who just played through it on the first day. I would love to have done that, but um, I I live with other people, so uh, well, family members, so I don't want to be loud because I can be very loud, and that would just be rude if I was playing all night. And uh, I didn't. I like I played. I played at night. I didn't get the game early on the Australian eShop. I tried to, but I wasn't successful. So. What can you do? I just got to play when it comes out in my region. But but that's besides the point. If you want to be alerted when we have a new episode going up, hit subscribe. Ring the bell so you're notified. I'm trying to upload these once a day uh, at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, 8 a.m. PST, Pacific Standard Time, uh, until I complete the game. This is going to be an ongoing series, so one episode a day. That's what I'm trying to do, so that way we can... Just see everything that this game has to offer. And because I have to catch every single Pokemon and complete the Pokedex in order to get Arceus, I'm going to be showing everything. So some of these episodes are going to be a lot longer. Some of them might be shorter because we're just doing story stuff. Um, I'm debating whether or not whether to uh, just blast through the story, just do the main missions, um, or do like a little bit of Pokedex completion in, mich in, uh, in some episodes along with story, um, or just do story. And then Pokedex afterwards. Uh, let me guys know what you think. What would be best. Uh, until then guys. Take care. Have a fantastic day. And I will see you all next time.